I guess we'll just start from here. So we're going to paint. Woo! Uh, I don't even know what video this is supposed to be or what order it's in. But we've got everything sanded down. And as you can see by my giant crime scene of plastic everywhere, we're going to paint. But we're going to start down on the transom. We'll work our way down. So I've got paint mixed, 50-50 mix of uh, my the gel coat I picked, which is like a seafoam green. And then it's mixed with Duratec high gloss additive at a 50-50 ratio, which so I bought one gallon of each. Yeah, it was pretty expensive, but then that actually thinned to two gallons. So hopefully it'll give me a lot more coverage. Um, got my gun. Everything's set up, ready to go. I did all my math to figure out how much catalyst I need. And we are going to get started. Um, the clock is pretty much a ticking, though. So stick with me. All right, so here's the catalyst. I'm going to add my catalyst, and I'm going to mix it real quick, and then I'm going to start painting. Everything's dried out. I've got part of the first coat on that is seafoam green. Yeah. And it looks like I'm going to have to do some sanding. We got this water in my airline and it blew out. But and for the most part, I guess that's that orange peel. But my goal, seeing that I pretty much did half of that with only a half 
half quart. So hey, a half a liter. So one quart, I can do the whole thing. So, which means I can, I'm going to get four coats to the gallon on this. And I was only wanting to get maybe three coats type of deal, like in total. But I guess since I split them, yippee, I can get four coats per gallon. I've got two gallons, which will be eight coats, which will work out. That'll be nice. And then... Because I've got a gallon of clear downstairs, too, and then I guess the last three coats will be clear. Woo! That'll work. Just mixing it with a little popsicle stick. But uh, we got the first coat on. We got some thin patches, but tech free. But I have a lot of spots that need to be fixed. So I'm going to actually sand this down on a light sand. And what is, what do I have? Oh, uh, I got a 150 and 220 so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sand it down with a 150 blow it off wipe it down to clean everything off and I'm just giving it like a light sand to get the imperfections out and then after that I'm gonna put a second coat on it which is gonna sit overnight <laughs> I'm taking too much off. Alright, so that won't work. Let's see if that's a little bit better.
that's a little bit better, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and tackle this. We'll come back when it's done. Uh, I'm ready to go ahead and start painting. Get out of here, bug. Um, I used 220 grit, which I shouldn't have. Um, however, it was a really thin coat anyway, so I had to fix a couple areas. That were like, there was a big nick that I had missed during the initial prep. And so I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat. I'm going to coat the other side, and then I'll probably come back through. Um, and I'm going to try to do two coats, and then it's going to sit overnight. Alright, so, that was a catastrophe. All because of this. This stupid little thing. So what I have going here is I've got two air compressors hooked up to like a Y, and then the lead coming off is what's going to the paint gun. And I only did that because I was afraid that my air compressors wouldn't be able to keep up. So, everything was going fine, and then I, was, then I started noticing like it was a lot of sputter, and it was spitting out, and I'm like, so this whole side here is going to be... It's a good thing I'm going to be sanding. I'm going to maybe sand a lot of it out, go back over it. I can probably try to fill a lot of this stuff in. So, these suck in the trash. Second thing that happened is the paint can that I had mixed this up in earlier. See, like all this stuff was dry, so I was like, okay, cool, no big deal. I put it back in the same paint can, and all of that, that flaky goopy looking stuff yeah so when I mixed this up and I poured it in my can it clogged my filter all up well when it clogged my filter up then I wasn't getting any spray so I to avoid having to spend the next hour trying to clean this thing out to avoid it kicking in there I just I dumped it threw acetone in it as quickly as I could just sprayed it sprayed it sprayed it sprayed it sprayed it just oh, please don't kick please don't kick didn't kick I got lucky but I figured out what happened so that stupid little yellow cord and that can. So I guess when you're going to mix, unless you're going to continuously be mixing batches throughout the day, so like, I'm going to go ahead and mix this batch up and do some spots on this side and go try to go do the rest. I'll probably do the other side mainly. Um, and then, in all honesty, I think I'm just going to throw it away. I'll throw it away. I'll go buy some more... Don't use that one. Um, I'll just go buy some more. They're stupid cheap. I didn't. I should have just bought a whole bunch, but they're. I mean, stupid, stupid, stupidly cheap. It's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, so don't. Definitely don't try to reuse your stuff. It will cause you all kinds. And I couldn't figure it out. I was eventually just. I was thinking. I was like, man, I'm just gonna pull that filter out and just let it flow. Uh, but I think that filter is like kind of slow stuff down. You know, maybe I should just try it without the filter and see how that sprays. So, um, I mean, I'm kind of thinking about it, but at the same time, I don't think that I should. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and do another batch. I'm going to get spraying this other side. But this is what we got so far. I mean, it's going to be a little hard to tell, and there's all kinds of bugs. But, I mean, I've got orange peel, just... This looks bad. Yeah. And I don't want to sit there and waste anything. I mean, I'm not going to, like, throw acetone on it, try to start all over. I'll just, I'll sand most of this out. Ugh. Oh, God, it's bad. So, you want to know what it looks like when it gels? So, this is... That is what I got out of my can before it finally hardened up. And I mean, like, 
I like flung it out real quick. So that is what that looks like. So that could be a nightmare. So if this happens in your gun, I mean, that's that's hard. Ah, my feet. So I've got. I'm going to do this last batch. We're going to be done for the night. We're going to let this sit overnight, cure all that up, and uh, then we're going to do a little bit sanding. We're going to give some more coats. Hopefully I'm going to try to get this, well, probably won't be finished by tomorrow, unfortunately, um, but that's just the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on this next one, and hopefully not have catastrophes. Those suck.